today I'm going to show you this is an in frame installation of the timing chain, the VVT setting up the cam timing forward slash valve timing. I just got done putting three friction washers on here, and the old ones are right here. If you don't think you got to change a friction washer, take a look at these. They're, they're bent up, if you, can, if you take a good look. They're a little bent. Oh, my finger's stuck. So I replaced all three of them. There's the part number if you ever want to buy them. This is on a Mazda CX-7 2.3 liter MZR turbo engine. And here's the brand new bolt that I bought for the crankshaft. So I don't know if you could see, it. they're a little bit warped, they're friction washers. You must replace them. So, I am going to show you today how to set up the cam timing. You go up here, here's the brand new VVT. This is the new style, see there's the new with the pin. Right there, that's the new style VVT actuator. And behind it, you see I have a brand new friction washer. And I'm doing this at home, not at a garage. I'll show you the setup I have right now. Okay. Right now, I'm about to install the chain and the cam. Sorry. I'm about to install the VVT and the chain and then tighten it. You have to do it in that sequence. I also have on the back the plate holding both can shafts, exhaust and intake holding them. And if you look here, the lobes facing the top on the exhaust, the intake, both lobes face inward. The base of the lobe is hitting the, uh, or actually it's not hitting the valves. The exhaust valves are closed, the intake valves are closed. The intake valves. Piston is at top dead center. And if you look here, take a look carefully, the cam sprocket has a dot right there. That is supposed to be at 12 o'clock position. Now you're supposed to set all this before you install the timing chain. Too many guys are doing it wrong. Now I'll show you again here in a few minutes what I'm going to do.